Welcome to the shooting show. This week we welcome Highland keeper Mark Schoen down to Yorkshire looking for Roebuck. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Mark Schoen's annual pilgrimage for Yorkshire Roebuck sees him join my twin brother Sean working opposite sides of the stalking ground. We follow Mark on a walk and stalk, but luck deserts us as Sean shoots the only buck of the morning. It's okay Sean, Mark only drove eight hours straight up for this. It's not quite symmetrical, is it? Be great. Hopefully Mark will have more luck as they all move on to a different patch of ground for the evening stalk. Clear shot. 
we've been sat here for a couple of minutes. So I'll start again because it's a couple of hours, isn't it? <laughs> uh, It'd be at least two and a half hours. Yeah, so we've been sat here for sort of two and a half hours. Uh, we're about half an hour in and there's a doe came down the back of the wood. And she came right down. So I went outside for a minute and then came around the back of the hedgerow there. And um, she's sort of gone down the hedgerow about maybe 15 metres. I lay down. And then about an hour and a half later, um, a wee buck has sort of come exactly on the same line right down the side of the wood. Come out to the end of the, end of the hedgerow and uh, into this gap here. And um, we thought he was going to go back down towards the door, but he's uh, he's cut across. And um, yeah, we managed to sort of get a get a shot on him. He was sort of coming around quite. Well, it was quite a long way around. And I was really comfortable right when he was in the gap, but he sort of came into a bit further. And yeah, but we managed to get a shot, and uh, he's he's taken off back the way he came. Um, it was a good hit. Um, he's just hit the end of the hedgerow and we think he's gone down, so we're just going to go. about 10 15 yards, I think. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll give him sort of five minutes and we'll go and have a look. Show, I? Yeah. That's the exit there. Yeah. Good body, good body weight, isn't he? Yeah. Unusual head? Yeah, I was just like, seeing that little point sticking out the front. Like, yeah. It's a bit of a heavy little. Yeah. He's a bit deceptive then, I think, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'll drag him out onto the yeah. edge here. You can have the camera in a minute and I'll drag. Oh no, I'll drag. No, I'll drag. I've got to do something. <laughs> what do you do with that then? Just laugh at Rinna's Yeah, just strangle him with that. around his neck or whatever, yeah. That's it, magic. It's all I'm fit for, is it? Yeah. Get dragon. <laughs> Some cracking action from the high seat there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Fees for a firearm or shotgun certificate won't be going up this year. The Home Office had planned to carry out a review of the fee structure, but it now says it won't because of delays in implementing the online licensing system and the need to review arrangements for police medical checks with applicants' GPs. Basque said this was the right and proper course of action. The Environment Secretary Michael Gove has taken charge of the general licensing situation. Natural England ceded its decision-making power to the Minister after chaos reigned for nearly three weeks when the licences were revoked. Shooting organisations have asked Gove to issue replacement licences as soon as possible, make them easy to understand and to remove the requirement to demonstrate that alternative methods have been tried. Brits might still be able to use the European Firearms Pass after Brexit. 
The government has now said it's aiming to keep our access to the EFP, which allows shooters to travel across Europe with firearms legally. It still depends on the government agreeing a Brexit deal, but if it happens it'll work both ways, allowing visiting hunters to travel to the UK easily too. And finally, Great Britain has won another spot in the shooting events at the Olympic Games next year. Matt coward holly won the place in the men's trap at the ISSF World Cup last week. He equalled the British record in qualifying, then went all the way to the final pair, only missing out on gold after a sudden death shoot-off. We'll now have at least three Olympic shooters on the plane to Tokyo next year. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week thanks for watching please like us on facebook and follow us on twitter and if you're not a member of basque it's time to join now basque looking after your sport looking after you this has been the shooting show